My name is Vahid Chitsa, as part of Elite Mastermind Group. Thank you for being here this morning. Go ahead and introduce yourself, or this afternoon for you. Go ahead and introduce yourself for everybody. Let us know where you're tuning in from. Sure. I'm Joe Wheeler. I'm the owner of La Bella Sabinita here in Sabinita, Italy. And what we do is we have a different bed and breakfast specifically geared up to the coaching industry. So instead of just your average um, bed and breakfast, we're actually going to be hosting coaches and retreats from around the world and uh, doing a whole bunch of other stuff. I'm an entrepreneur. I've been uh, in business ever since I can remember. And I am coming to you live from Sabinita, Italy. Woohoo! Awesome. So let's let's get focused on that. What does it mean to be focused and be positive? Why those two things are important? Focused and positive. I think that you can focus on a goal. You can focus on a dream. But if you don't have the positive mentality and the mindset that when life happens, shit's going to come at you. Things are going to happen. It's going to get bad. It's going to get ugly. And if you, you can't condition your mind, how can you actually help another person? And if you can't see the vision you know, past the failures, past the doubts, past the, you know, the times that you're going to fall, how are you ever going to make it to the finish line? Yeah, but okay. So here's, here's what I have. Okay. Can I be positive and not put in the work? Um, you can see, this is what I believe is I believe that 80% of the work is done inside our, our mind. So if you're doing the work inside and you're going deep inside, absolutely. If you are, complaining because we need to also be very word conscious and word minded. If we're complaining along the way and, and maybe doing the work, but like, Oh, can't believe I have to do this and do that. Well, then it's not going to happen. Right. Because you've got the wrong mindset, but if you can condition yourself to stay mentally tough and may, mentally strong, my favorite line is from Muhammad Ali. And he says, you know, when, when other people quit, that's when I'm going to hit the hardest. That's when I'm going to go the hardest. That's when I'm going to work the hardest. When you're sleeping in bed, I'm up. I'm training. I'm working. I'm doing. Right? And, and that's what I think it means. Sure, we're all going to have bad days. We're all going to have days where stuff comes at us. And believe me, when it comes, it comes. I'm sure you've had it, right, where everything happens and it's like, all right, let's just erase that day off the calendar. And, and so many people are like, let's just erase 2020, right? Off the calendar completely, right? 2020, let's flush it. But if you can keep your mind positive and, and stay focused on the goal, no matter what, stay focused on the vision, no matter what. Um, and it's funny on my Facebook live, um, I actually got a feed today um, that I posted a year ago talking about starting this journey to come to Italy, talking about the vision, talking about, you know, going and, and launching. And here I am, you know, in Italy right now, right? So there's so much power in the spoken word as well as holding on to the vision and not allowing the circumstances to interfere with the end result, right? When, when a woman knows she's pregnant, She's pregnant for the nine months, you know, nine and a half months, however long it is. It's the end result, right? She's still going to have that baby. That's the end result, right? Even though it may seem like it's never coming, that's the end result, right? D does that make sense? That makes sense because I was in the hospital when my wife gave birth. And, and I can picture that right now when you said that. That was, uh, that was tough five days that we were in the hospital. But the baby came out. The process was good. The doctors were crazy. They were aggressive. To them, it was like a routine. You know, they've done it a million times. They're just going through the motion. I was panicking. I was freaking out, but I couldn't show it. So I had the poker face on. You know, I was trying to stay positive for my wife. At the same time, I was worried about me collapsing in the hospital. That would have been the biggest embarrassment. I would have never, it would have never finished. My mom would have just like, say that to everybody for the rest of my life. So I was more worried about me collapsing than actual collapsing itself. So I, I know exactly what you're saying. Those nine months are very crucial. But going but, back to the point is, why should we erase 2020? No, I mean, no, no. you're in Italy. I'm in LA. We have never had clean air like this ever before. Like this is the cleanest it's it, ever been. Go ahead. I think you broke I up. I think I froze. Are you there? It's okay. Give it a second. If it doesn't come back, we restart the, 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 the video. <laughs> you froze. That was the right time. The minute I said the weather is good. <laughs> All right. So let's do this. Let's restart. I'm going to end this. We're going to come back. We're going to do it again. We're going to come back in one second. Thank you. We're back. <laughs> what I was saying to everybody was that why should we erase 2020? 
It's the best time. I mean, the weather is amazing outside. No pollution. Well, we still got pollution. But the pollution has been less than before. Right. Well, so for you and I, this is a good thing, right? This is an excellent opportunity time. This is a time that you and I are going to grasp the horn and we're going to hunker down and we're going to work harder, right? This is when everybody else in the world, people who are freaking out going, oh my gosh, you know, chicken little, the end of the sneer, the end of the sneer. Those are the people that are freaking out. And you, you and I, you and I are going to be the ones and, and the entrepreneurs of the world are the ones that are seeing opportunity like this. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. For me, I've been able to finish my books and get my books out there. Right? Like if, if this didn't happen, I would be in my house renovating like crazy right now. Right? Because this pause happened, you and I connected. You know, I've, I've had the time to finish my book. I've had the time to, you know, get other projects out. I've had the time to work on my swagger. I've had the time to do all kinds of cool stuff. So there's so many people that want this part of the, the year to, to stop. But you and I both know that when it gets bad, it, we're in the middle of the storm right now. And that means if we can just hold on and ride a little bit harder, we're going to go through and we're going to be the ones that are actually going to make it and not just make it, but we're going to propel ourselves further than the people who don't grasp the opportunity right when it's being handed to us. And actually, I actually read a quote from um, Think and Grow Rich. I love that you promote that book. So I'm just going to, can I share it with you? Definitely. Go ahead. I'm all ears. So it is, it's talking about the six year financial climb um, where it just depleted. Do you, you know that part? So right. it says, if you do not um, see great riches in your investment, you will never see them in your bank balance. And then here's the other one that I thought was really pertained to today is never in the history of, it says America, but the world, has there been such a great area of opportunity and practical dreamers as it exists now. A new race is about to be run. The stakes represent a huge fortunes, which will be accumulated within the next 10 years. I think it's going to be faster than that, right? And I think if we position ourselves properly, I think we're going to be riding this wave and yes unfortunately some people are, are sinking some people are losing things some people have gone from great riches to nothing because they just lived at a higher level of debt or a higher level of you know maybe their money was spread out but it's going to be the people that see the opportunity just like the great depression they're going to see it and go okay i can do this and it's called shifting gears. Like I, I teach my, my people that I coach all the time, shift gears, shift gears. When you're driving an automatic car, the car automatically shifts when you're going uphill, downhill in bad terrain. But when you're in a stick shift, you're doing the physical work yourself. And if you don't know how to do it, you're going to ruin that gearbox, right? So we are shifting gears right now. Everybody's had to kind of re shift their business and go, okay, that we're going to have to, like I've canceled all of my openings and, Retreats that I had planned for this year, canceled. But guess what? Next year, it's going to be, we're coming out of the gate swinging. Woo -woo, it's going to be Ooh, I love it. I love it. Italy is on fire. Italy is on fire. You're just making that. So here's my question. Sure. When you're an entrepreneur, what does it mean to be flexible? And you, you just touched up on it. Because I think right now, it's that time that you need to be flexible. And, and I do agree with, with some of what, what other, you know, gurus are saying that some people are going to make a lot of money. Some people, maybe the income temporarily will be lower. It's not going to be permanent, right? right. But everything is shifting. Right. If you don't shift and you're not flexible, you may not actually survive. So what is your opinion on that? Um, I believe that you have to be flexible. You know, nothing in life, we can, we can have it planned as much as we want, but then life's going to throw you a curveball right? Like your wife being in the hospital for five days. Were you expecting that? You're thinking, we're going no, in. No, no, no. Baby, I'm coming out and passing out cigars. Everything's going to be good. No, right? My daughter was um, almost a month overdue. And I'm like, are you kidding me? Like, when is this child no. coming out? But you know what? I had to just readjust. I had to readjust my schedule. I've had to readjust my schedule this year. So, you know, we had, we had events planned, you know, get the renovations done, plan them. Our, our grand opening was July. Guess what's not going to happen in July? Grand opening. <laughs> but, 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 but next year, it'll be like the double of the time. I think this is just like building a dam. We're building a lot of pressure. 
a lot of things are happening on that side. And when the gates are just open, I mean, so many people, I know so many people right now are cooking things for the next 12 months, for 24 months. Like it's, it's expansion time. This is going to be like the 2007 and eight when we had the real estate, you know, breakdown. Right after that, we had a big explosion in real estate stocks, all yeah. kinds of things. So to me, temporarily might be set back. And my prayers go out to the families that have lost you know, loved ones through this whole entire crisis and pandemic. But you know what? It's a cycle of life. We all come, we all go. As long as they lived a good life and they left a good legacy, you know, we got to carry on what they left behind and just move forward. Just like our grandparents went through so many struggles, so many challenges, just like we have to go. But they left it to us to, you know, kind of carry that flag to the next generation. And if your expiration date comes a little bit earlier, well, guess what? This is what we got to go through. And that's what I told one of my friends. I said, listen, we could we could sit there and be sad that they passed away or we could be excited and happy about the good that yeah. they did for us or for other people. Let's cherish that instead of the negative side. You know, obviously when you lose your life, loved ones, it's not, you know, you'll never be the same. It will, it will definitely impact you. But at the same time, you got to be positive and you got to move on. Life still moves on. You're still here. So yeah. let's put, I mean, if that happens to you and you lose a loved one, that should tell you it's precious. Don't waste your time. Do something that's going to impact people because one day we're all going to be gone. And right. what do you want to be left known for? What kind of legacy did you live for yourself? Obviously, well, you're helping a lot of people yourself, but that's my thought. Well, my thought on that too is that we all have a dash, right? We all have an appointed day that we're going to be here and an appointed day that we're going to go. Whether you're religious or not, that's just a fact. Each one of us come with a date stamp that we don't know about. And, and yes, it's hard when we lose loved ones. Um, you know, I, I've had several friends here in Italy that have passed away. And it's been really, really, really sad. One passed away right the day before Easter. And um, that was really hard because the family wasn't allowed to go and mourn. But at the same time, it's the stepping stones. It's the stepping stones because none of us is going to live forever, right? So what can live forever is our legacy. What can live forever is the good that we've done. What can live forever is the fact that we choose to rise when the crabs in the bucket are trying to pull us down. What can live forever is that we go out and we speak with power and optimism and positivity and say, oh my gosh, you guys, it's still a great day. Like you said, the, the air has never been cleaner. I've seen a badger. I've seen animals just walking across town. Like Venice, right now, they have dolphins swimming up and down the canals. And that hasn't happened for years, right? So the fact that I think the world is actually in a pause. I think that it is, it's just a pause right now. And if we can all hunker down and just, just like when a woman goes through a contraction, she knows there's that point where you have to like, ugh, tense up and it's hard and it's not pretty and it's ugly and it's going to be hell right and then you've got that period where you can breathe and right now we're seeing people that maybe hated their jobs maybe hated their profession hated the fact that they didn't spend time with their kids they didn't get to have sunday dinners they didn't get to you know they were going from activity to activity to activity we're seeing them actually reevaluating their life going whoa What's, what's more important, right? We're seeing businesses being created in a world economic depression right now, right? Those who are going to run. Oh, so many people are innovating. Hmm. Like if you're an entrepreneur and you're not innovating, you're not, I mean, so many of my older friends are being forced to open up their Instagram, get on Facebook, do yeah. this, what's streaming. Like I'm getting questions where normally they would have never asked. So out of this, a lot of great is going to come out and I'm excited for it. Because it's gonna help a lot. Of, it's gonna help the next generation. But you wanna know something out of this whole thing? The most beautiful. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. That, I'm sorry. I was gonna say the most beautiful thing out of this whole thing came out was that I get to do afternoon walks with my baby and my wife. And I don't think I would have been able to do that if this whole pause thing it wouldn't have happened. So I was like, at least I experienced it in my life. This is how you do this. It was cool, it was weird. You got to do the social distancing so you find, you're watching out for other people not passing you or you not passing by them. But it was cool. I was like, wow, this is what it looks like. You know, next to our house, a lot of the houses that were around our house, 
I never seen them because of this stupid smog. Uh -huh. Now my, I told my wife, I was like, these houses were here before? Like I never had to walk through the street and look at I was like, these are cool places. We live in a nice place. This is nice. But then I wouldn't have had that if this wouldn't have happened. But at the same time, business owners, entrepreneurs are getting after it. We're not chilling. We're not relaxing. We're not watching TV. I am watching less TV, less documentary right now than I did before. That's the crazy part. Oh, yeah. And for me, like, I'm not even, I'm not even watching TV. I'm just like, okay, what's the next thing I got to do? And, and it's been nice. Like, you do get to sleep in a little bit. You get, you're probably in your PJs from the waist down. No worries. I won't tell anybody. But, <laughs> but the thing is, we get to, like, just the other night, I had, I saw neighbors leaning outside their window. So they're completely social distance. One is in their house and the other one, and they're talking, they're yelling, they're joking back and forth. And it is great. And I, I, and you guys have probably seen the videos, but people are singing all the time, you know, and, and so actually Italy has had a very positive, um, you know, of course it's, it hasn't been easy, but it's been a very positive atmosphere here. And, and people have been, you know, cheerful. I, and it's, People are a little bit more afraid, you know, I, I would think than they normally have been, but at the same time, it's cleaner and it's, you're hearing giggles from children all the time. And you're hearing, you know, like you said, you get to go on walks with your children. People have get to experience that for the first time. They get to look at their neighbor's house and go, holy cow, I didn't know your house was green. <laughs> I always thought it was like brown. Like, what's up with <laughs> that is awesome. Listen, Joe. I want to thank you so much for taking this time and being with here. Looking forward and doing collaboration. And if there's anything that you need us to help you with or collaborate, definitely don't be shy. Ask, let us know. Thank you so much for taking this time out of your busy day and being with us. You're welcome. You're welcome. Can I just say one more quick thing? Go ahead. Okay. So if you guys want to find me, I, I just lost my uh, launched my book. It's called Pocket Full of Power. It's a total of 71 mini books. They're going to be 45 pages long. It's a really tiny book you can put in your pocket. It is going to be that surge of power you need. It's got a bright neon cover. You cannot miss it. It's like electric. And we're also doing a buy one, get one. So you buy a week, you get a week. You also have two years to use it at La Bella Sabanita. So La Bella Sabanita Facebook page and Joe Wheeler, La Bella um, on Instagram. And thank you. I'd love to collaborate with you in the future. You're just awesome. Thank you so thank much. Thank you so much. Talk to you soon. Stay, stay safe. Hopefully, I'm looking forward to the next year. I am too, and you better be buying my book and promoting my book. Oh, big time, big time. Send me the link. I will. Thank you so much. Have Talk a great day. Thank you for having us on. Bye. Bye-bye. Yeah,